So a lot of what I did in the Air Force, my first assignment was in a uh, research and development group. Um, cool. And we actually did the first SpaceX launch, uh, SMC-XR. We were responsible for the first launch of SpaceX. That would have been like the single um, engine rocket that they had on that island. Yep, on Kwajalein. Blew up three times. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, yeah, That's yeah. what you want. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, uh, I remember very distinctly we were watching that first launch. And, uh, you know, we were in the conference room and the engine lit up with like, you know, five seconds left in the countdown. And then with one second left, they like turned it off and something went wrong. We're like... Are they going to try again, right? It's supposed to be reusable, right? Like, light that candle again if they fix it. And they did. And, you know, kudos to them for trying that. Um, you know, uh, at the time, right, the idea of reusing a rocket engine without massive amounts of tests and, like, verifying that it was, you know, still up to snuff and everything, the Air Force didn't do that. But the oh, beauty of cool. the project and what we did in my organization was, no, we're specifically supposed to take those chances and push that technology to where it needs to go. Yeah, and if it's that isolated, I mean, what's the harm in doing that? Yeah, yeah, Kwajalein is uh, an interesting place. We uh, we tend to, uh, it's, it's it's where uh, when we test uh, that our ICBMs still function, it's where we test that they the warheads <laughs> still hit on target. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah, they're they're inactive warheads. Everyone always asks, we, we detonate nuclear bombs? No, they're, it's just, you know, the guidance system. That's all we're testing. Oh, that's cool. 